Hey guys, how's it going? Spinosaurus the King here, and in this video, I'm going to be discussing another dinosaur battle, and in today's Who Would Win discussion, it will be between the Gignotosaurus and the Saurophaganex. So let's get started with this video. So I'll start off with the Gignotosaurus facts. So the name Gignotosaurus name means giant southern lizard. The Gignotosaurus' size was 13.7 meters long, 5.5 meters tall, and weighs up to 9 tons. The Giganotosaurus's bite force is 8,000 pounds of force, which gives it a very powerful bite force. The Giganotosaurus lived during the late Cretaceous period, about 97 to 98 million years ago, and was discovered in 1993. The Giganotosaurus can run 50 kilometers an hour, which makes it extremely fast. The Giganotosaurus's main prey was the 35 meter long gigantic Argentinosaurus, which is the largest land animal to ever walk the earth. The Giganotosaurus hunted in packs to take it down for their food. The Giganotosaurus also fought Megaraptor, which is an 8 meter long raptor. So, as you can see, the Giganotosaurus had great fighting experience. The Giganotosaurus's arms were basically useless as they were very small. The Giganotosaurus is also a very aggressive dinosaur. And the Giganotosaurus has appeared in cartoon films and is going to be appearing in Jurassic World Dominion as well for a big role. The Giganotosaurus has been in a few toys before, shirts, and a few games as well, and is apparently going to be in a Mattel toy line as well coming up. My favorite Giganotosaurus design is this green one that was made on DeviantArt a few years back, which I will be putting a link to in the description below. Anyways, these are all the facts about Giganotosaurus, so let's go ahead and talk about its very deadly opponent, the Saurophaganax. So the Saurophaganax is 13 meters long. 4.5 meters tall and weighs up to 5 tons. The Saurophaganex can run 54 kilometers an hour and it lived during the late Jurassic period 150 to 155 million years ago in North America. I'm not sure how strong the Saurophaganex bite force is, but my estimate is between 1,500 to 2,000 pounds of force. Saurophaganex has fully functional arms, three claws used for combat and killing its prey, Saurophaganex had amazing fighting experience since it lived alongside with the 10 meter long Allosaurus, the 10 meter Stegosaurus, the 7 meter Dilophosaurus, the 8 meter Ceratosaurus, and it also hunts sometimes in packs to take out the 33 meter long Diplodocus and the 26 meter long Brachiosaurus. So as you can see, the Saurophaganex had amazing fighting experience. The Saurophaganex has a decent role in Dinosaur King and has also appeared in dinosaur documentaries as well and has rarely been seen in toys and shirts, unfortunately. And I personally have never seen a live action movie with a Saurophaganex, but I have seen a couple live action movies with an Allosaurus. For example, Land of the Lost and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom and Jurassic World Battle of Big Rock. So that's all the facts on both dinosaurs. So let's go ahead and talk about the advantages that they have over each other. So the Giganotosaurus's advantage is height, length, a weight advantage, stronger bite force, bigger teeth, and stronger legs. These are all the advantages that the Giganotosaurus has over the Saurophaganex. The Saurophaganex advantages are it's faster than Giganotosaurus, it has longer and stronger arms and claws and hands as well. It has better fighting experience than the Giganotosaurus. Now, who is smarter? I don't know, but in my opinion, the Saurophaganex is possibly smarter since it's an Allosaurus dinosaur, and Allosaurus is actually ranked to be, I believe, the seventh or eighth smartest dinosaur in the world. These are all the advantages that Saurophaganex has over the Giganotosaurus. So let's go ahead and talk about who would win in different scenarios. So if they were to fight in an aquatic environment, then the Saurophaganex would definitely win this hands down due to, being able, due to being able to swim faster because of the longer arms and lighter weight. If they were to fight in an open field, the Giganotosaurus would win hands down due to a major strength and bite force advantage. If they were to fight in a jungle environment, I think it would be a tie. So this is a great even fight, however I say overall the Giganotosaurus wins 60% of the time while the Saurophaganex wins 40% of the time. Honestly this battle can make a great battle for Jurassic World Dominion seeing a Saurophaganex fight a Giganotosaurus. Sadly I don't think this will happen, I know Giganotosaurus is confirmed for Dominion but I don't think we're going to be seeing a Saurophaganex, we might see an Allosaurus versus the Giganotosaurus but personally I wouldn't want to see an Allosaurus die because that's my second favorite dinosaur. However, if we could see Giganotosaurus just fight anything big, like, you know, whether it's a T-Rex, a Spinosaurus, or, like, even a Carcodontosaurus, I think that would be amazing. But, anyways, I really hope you all enjoyed this video.
But anyways, what are all your thoughts on this? Who do you think would win in an open field, the Giga or Saro? Who do you think would win? Who do you think wins in the? Who do you think wins in the water, Sarfagonex or Giganotosaurus? Who do you think wins in the jungle, Sarfagonex or Giganotosaurus? I'd love to hear your opinions on this in the comments down below. To end this video, I'd like to give a huge thanks to my YouTube team, Patrick Wan, my 2D and 3D animator, Jacob101, my 3D animator, David Church, the best director I met on Instagram, BK Go Crazy, my very first hardcore Spinosaurus fan, Zane Schiller, my first friend in the Jurassic Park community on Instagram, Anthony Ellis, my drawer who draws epic background pictures that I use in some of my videos, Rafferty Stryker, my comedian, since he makes me laugh the most, and Animal World, my best dinosaur friend in real life. If you're interested in any Spinosaurus the King merchandise that I'm selling on my Patreon, the link will be in the description. I'm currently selling t-shirts based off the animations that me and Patrick make, which costs $40 to $50 per shirt. Sweaters are a bit more expensive, unfortunately. Coffee cups are about $32 per one. I'm also selling custom Photoshop pictures to use for whatever you need some for which is five dollars per one if you're a fan on my discussion videos and wish to be on one discussion video a week of your choice for 35 minutes for the discussion video that will cost 15 dollars a month it'll be basically like we talk about whatever you want if you wish to support me to get better content from me then contact me through my email or other social medias to talk about it if you wish to have a 10 second cameo of getting eaten by a dinosaur of your choice in upcoming animations that will cost five dollars a month to appear in each upcoming animation. Re receiving deleted scenes of previous animation films is $10 a month, which will give you a concept art and deleted scenes about two a month. Me and Patrick have our own website where we talk about our series Jurassic World Survival of the Fittest and where we also post concept art of our upcoming projects. And we also post Jurassic Park dinosaur theories. Like for example, we have the Spinosaurus, the history of it, and we also have Jurassic World Strand on Sizey Remaster coming soon, and future projects will be posted on our website. So if you're interested in reading Jurassic Park fun theories and to speculate, come check out our website. Also, if you guys wish to join my Discord server to chat with me about Jurassic Park and other stuff, you're more than welcome to. Just remember to be respectful and polite. The link will be in the description below to my website and my Discord. If you're enjoying the content on my YouTube channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss anything new. Leave a like and a friendly comment. If you have any friends and family who you think would enjoy my content, please share this video with them and also my YouTube channel too. And don't forget to do the exact same thing for my YouTube team and have an amazing day everyone.